Powerplay Particles by Nothing But Thieves. We're in standard tuning. There's no capo. I'll be teaching you the riff and the chords for this song. So, the bass riff, that's what we're going to start out with here. It's nice and easy. It's this part. <laughs> Okay, so you're going to start out, you can use your pinky or your ring finger, whatever works. You're going to play the 5th fret of the A string twice, slide down to the 2nd fret with your index finger of the A string, and you're going to play this for a little bit, so we're going to twice on the 5th fret, first on the 2nd um, fret, and we're going to continue picking. So down, up, down, up, down, up. We're going to slide to the 4th fret, and then to the 5th fret for 2, and we start back at the 5th for the 2nd. So that's how you play the riff. Um, I want to go into the chords for the verse and the chorus. Um, if you already know the chords, you can go ahead and skip later in the video. But for now, I'll be teaching the chords. We have a D chord, a B minor chord, a G chord, and then we also have an E minor chord. So once we know those four chords, we can learn how to play the chord progressions and the strumming patterns. But for now, I'll be teaching the chords. So you have a D where your index fingers on the second fret of the G, middle fingers on the second fret of the high E, ring fingers on the 3rd fret of the B, you play those 4 strings. For B minor, you're going to bar the 2nd fret, 5th string down with your index. Your middle finger is going to be on the 3rd fret of the B, ring fingers on the 4th fret of the D, pinkies on the 4th fret of the G. For a G chord, your ring fingers on the 3rd fret of the high E, middle fingers on the 3rd fret of the low E, index is on the 2nd fret of the A. And for an E minor chord, your middle finger is on the 2nd fret of the A string. Ring finger is right under on the 2nd fret of the D. So those are our four chords. We have a G, a D, an E minor, and a B minor. So our chord progression for the verse sounds like this. So D, D, you strum down, go to your B minor. Down. D, D, B minor. And that strumming pattern on the B minor sounds like this. Down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. After you do that twice, or actually you're going to do that, let's see, one, two, you're going to do that three times, and then you're going to transition to a G, back to a B minor, to a G, to an A chord. So all together the verse sounds like this. So it's actually four times that you play that. Then we go to our G, D minor, G, and A, and that brings you to the end of the verse. And now we're going to be into the chorus here, and the chorus sounds like this. Down, down on the D, up, down on your E minor, 
up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, and then you're going to go to your B minor, and it's that same strumming pattern from the verse, so down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. So, that changes slightly after you do that once. You go D, E minor to a B minor. We're gonna keep the strumming the same, but we're gonna go from a D to an E minor to a G. So the chorus is just transitioning between those two progressions. So it goes D, E minor, D minor. On this next one it goes D, G, G finishes out. So that's the chorus, and then I already taught you the verse, and it goes right back between the verse and the chorus. That's it for this tutorial. If you have questions, go ahead and comment below. If you'd like to see more tutorials, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.